<laughs> All I want for Christmas is a PSA 10. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the end of 2022. We're going to finish off the year strong with an awesome PSA return. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right into the cards here. Hope you guys enjoy. Today I'm going to be submitting some of the cards that we pulled from our recent GX Hobby Box Breaks. Starting off here with a card we pulled for Jordan L., our ultimate rare Neospatian Dark Panther. We're going to look over this thing one more time before we send it off. Resleeve it and look at that absolutely epic foiling on it. North American print, but that ultimate rare foiling is still really, really pronounced. Awesome card. Neospatian Dark Panther. And again, very, very minimal alti stamping on the back. But other than that, an absolutely minty card. Centering is very, very nice on it. Let me know guys, what do you think this will grade? I am predicting at least a nine, potentially a PSA 10 right here for Neospatian Dark Panther. But our next card here, pulled by, pulled for Rocky S here on the channel. One of the biggest cards pulled, Chimera Tech Over Dragon. Take a quick look over on this thing. Absolutely epic card. Centering, beautiful again. And as I remember, very, very minimal ulti stamping. It does have a little bit on it, but nonetheless, an absolutely epic, minty, iconic GX Dragon. Absolutely gorgeous. It did have a little bit more of an ulti stamping than I remembered, but nonetheless, I am guessing this guy right here will get a PSA 10. The queen waifu of them all. Dark Magician Girl, just released in Ghost from the Past 2. Unfortunately, haven't had the, uh, the pleasure of pulling one myself. Looks pretty nice. Some absolutely clean foiling there. And it's got a little bit of scuffing on the back there, but nonetheless, a very nice minty ghost rare. One thing I do appreciate about the Ghost from the Past 2, they don't seem to have as bad foil scratching on them, though. So there's that. And here we have a pretty big boy, guys, from Turbo Pack 1, the original, the OG Turbo Pack, a Judgment Dragon Ultimate Rare absolutely massive card even just to have in near mint raw condition beautiful and this one holy crud this one is absolutely beautiful it has a little bit of that ultimate rare stamping on the back but very very minimal as far as as far as i'm concerned beautiful judgment dragon here we have another epic ultimate rare caius the shadow monarch now this guy looks a little bit oc from top to bottom and i want to say maybe left to right too but nonetheless, again, even just in near mint raw condition, this card is worth a pretty penny. Beautiful ultimate rare from Turbo Pack 3, right? Pretty awesome. And now, busted out the playmat for this guy, a ghost rare black wing, black, black wing dragon. Pretty awesome card right here. Can't go wrong with ghost rares, especially minty surface ones, which I'm assuming this copy has. Yeah, I am not seeing anything with that. There might be some dust on here. Clean that off or attempt to clean that off before subbing. It also does have what seems to be a little scuff up here. But here we have another ghost rare. Throwing it all, all the way over to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Speak of the devil. We are about 200 subscribers, 220 or so subscribers away from opening every single Yu-Gi-Oh! GX pack. So you know what to do, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And here we have one of the original Ghost Rares ever printed in Yu-Gi-Oh! Honest, pretty awesome card and woo, look at that foiling, pretty, oh it does have, seems to have a little something right there on it. Again, probably can look at that a little bit in more detail. Definitely a good idea to go over any cards that you might want to send in just to see if there's any flaws. This guy right here though, should be pretty flawless because we actually pulled this ourselves. For Toen on the channel here in that Power of the Duelist hobby box break, he ended up pulling the cover card, Elemental Hero, Dark Neos. Pretty epic card here. Let's take a quick look-see. Again, I did not see any flaws when we pulled it. Not seeing anything here. Very, very clean surface. A beautiful card that we again pulled pack fresh from that Power of the Duelist hobby box break. Just another reason to hop in on those Yugi Mo box breaks. And our last card for Toe and Fo Show here, the OG, one of the OGs, Barrel Dragon First Edition from MRD. This card actually I have had since I was a kid. It's one of the ones that uh, survived all the way since my, my childhood. But here we go, a Barrel Dragon. Do you guys see anything on this? There might be something up top there. 
not too sure about that corner. It does look a little bit OC top to bottom. And there are a little bit of back scuffs on there. I'm not sure too much what that is there, but we'll take another closer look at it. Now, before we throw it back to past Yugi Mo, we have this Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman Ultimate Rare that you guys saw me pick up with the one and only Ruxin34 at Charlotte Collecticon. Got her double sleeved here. Let's take another quick look see at it, give you guys a nice look at how absolutely beautiful this thing is. Look at that surface, absolutely gorgeous. There is like a very, very small little white speck there, but other than that, really not too much wrong with this card. Very faint ultimate rare stamping on the back, so hoping this guy right here gets a beauty grade, even a nine I'd be happy with, but of course, we send it in. To get that 10 so let me know let me know what you guys think all of these cards might get a full of christmas times later here it is folks the moment we've all been waiting for the grades are in without further ado let's jump right into this thing our first card a pretty awesome og from 2002 metal raiders first edition barrel dragon now there's uh there's been a lot of these things graded considering it's one of the older cards uh unfortunately as soon as i cracked this thing out i noticed there's a little schmutz on the back. That seems to be a theme with uh, PSA. Hopefully not a theme with this return. But our first card seems to have a little bit. You can actually send it in for quality assurance to uh, get them to clean that up and fix that. Might have to do that with this card, unfortunately. Right off the bat, first edition, Barrel Dragon. Let's see what we can get. I predict it can at least get a 9. Okay, near mint 8. That's not too shabamo. We'll take that. This card's actually for Toe and Fo Show. He uh, sent it to us to get graded. We will take that. Unfortunately, again, we're going to have to probably send it back in for that quality assurance check. Now, jumping into a card we pulled for our hobby box break. Power of the, power of the elements? Power of the Duelist. Pretty epic GX box break. Look at this thing. Neospatian Dark Panther pulled for Jordan L. here on the channel. Let's see. Let's see what we can get. I think this thing's got pretty decent centering. We pulled it pack fresh, so it should have a good shot to get something. All right, folks, what do you think this can get? I'm predicting this isn't gonna be it. This is gonna be our first 10. It's gonna be our best chance at a 10. Neospatian Dark Panther, a mint nine. Come on, PSA, I do not see anything wrong with this. The centering looks pretty decent to me. Very, very minimal ultimate rare stamping on the back. Nonetheless, a mint nine, we will take that for Jordan L. Definitely an awesome pull from that Hobby Box break. Let me know if you guys want to do any more Hobby Box breaks. Actually, you can get them for a little bit cheaper nowadays, considering the market. But we have another card here pulled for that Hobby Box break. This one is also for Toe and Fo Show. The cover card, Elemental Hero Dark Neos. And we're also going to see another Ultimate Rare that we pulled from that Hobby Box break later in this opening, or later in the submission. All right, folks, here we go. 2006's Elemental Hero, Dark Neos from Power of the Duelist, Ultra Rare. Can we get a 10? Are you kidding me? Another 9. What is going on here? What do we have to do to get a PSA 10? Of course, there's no stamping on the back here. The centering looks pretty decent to me. I don't know, folks. Are we going to be able to get any 10s here? Let's hope. Our next card here, I believe we have a couple of Ghost Rares coming up. There we go. Our first Ghost Rare from... Light of Destruction, 2008, Honest. Was this? No, sorry, this is the third Ghost Rare release, right? Yeah, this is the last Ghost from, or the last set in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Nonetheless, a pretty epic one, used in almost all side decks. Can we get a freaking 10 finally? Look at that foil, it looks pretty decent to me. I don't know, guys. No schmutz on the back? Is this our first 10? A mint nine again. Is this just going to be a video full of nines? Nonetheless, a nine ghost rare honest. Definitely worth it. Unreal card. All right. On to the next one here. This is a big boy. Judgment Dragon from Turbo Pack Booster 1 from 2009. This is a pretty epic card. Even just uh, raw, I believe the value of this is like over $500. Maybe even more. If I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. Look at that. Very, very minimal ultimate rare stamping on the back. I'm just going to guess a 9 since all of them seem to be 9s. Look at that. Another mint 9. Okay. We seem to have a theme building here. 
We have another Ghost Rare. 2010 Blackwing Dragon from The Shining Darkness. We actually opened up a case of this on the channel. Not in first edition, but the unlimited version. Pulled that Ghost Rare. And I believe a channel member graded it. Let's see, folks. Another very, very clean foil. Oof. Gotta love that. No schmutz. Definitely a bonus. 2010's Blackwing Dragon. It's gonna be another 9. A near mint 8. Oh, come on. I jinxed it. I'd take a 9 on this. What's going on with that one? I'm I'm not seeing anything in particular. Maybe this... No, no. Centering looks pretty decent. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments. I, don't, I think PSA just grades whatever they want at this point. No 7s, though. We'll take, we'll take that. Our next card here, another ultimate rare from a Turbo Pack. Turbo Pack Booster 3, Caius the Shadow Monarch from 2010. I'll put up all the prices for, for all of these cards uh, if I can find them, the market values of these. But this ultimate rare, another huge one, just even in raw value. It's got a little bit of ultimate rare stamping. Can I guess a 9? Look at that! Ding, ding, ding! <laughs> Alright, folks, our last card here. I believe this is, yes, a Ghost Rare Dark Magician Girl from Ghost from the Past. Centering's actually pretty awful on this, I'm not gonna lie. This could possibly get even lower than a 9. <laughs> no, but uh, it's still very, very clean foiling. I'm gonna have to guess a 9. Boom! <laughs> okay, what am I? It was like 4 for 4 there, or th 4 for 5. Alright, folks, we are not done, though. We are on to... The finale. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. I have in my possession two cards which could potentially be worth over five figures if they get PSA 10s. So folks, without further ado, to finish off today's PSA return, these right here are the Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman and Chimera Tech Overdragon Ultimate Rares. One I pulled on the channel, the other I got with Ruxin34 at Collecticon. So here we go, folks. Let's check out the first one. Oh my god. What is that? Are you kidding me? Immediately just went from like sky high to crashing down. Are you kidding me? Like, I can immediately see that that's in the case on the card come on psa especially when you pay at this service level oh, what's that right there too there's two freaking marks in the case oh my goodness well looking at it just at the back none of the cards had that that's why you take the videos before you send it in i'm definitely going to be saying something to psa's customer service but i do believe this is the elemental hero shining flare wingman unfortunately got something on it so we'll see Let's do this, guys. Yep, there it is. Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman. So, this thing was very clean, honestly. It did not have that on the back. Like, that was... That's ridiculous, honestly. I, I hope it didn't hurt the grade. If it did, I, even if it, if it didn't, I'm going to have to send it in either way. God, come on, PSA. Anyways, this is the one I got with Ruxin34. It does have a little bit of whitening here up at the top. And uh, you can see on the back there... There is a little bit of ultimate rare stamping that I couldn't really see when we were at the convention. Other than that, though, corners look pretty good. The edges look pretty good, aside from that little whitening at the top. It does look maybe a little bit off-centered bottom to top. With that little ding on the back and the ultimate rare stamping, my guess was uh, at max a PSA 9. Even a PSA 8, I'd be happy with this. Let's see what it got. Elemental Hero, Shining Flare Wingman, Ultimate Rare from Elemental Energy. It got a mint nine. Are you kidding me? That is a huge win in my books. Like I said, I I'm still pretty disappointed at the like the smuts at the back here. I'm gonna have to send it in to get cleaned. Elemental hero, shining flare, wingman. This is arguably, if not the most expensive or the best uh, ultimate rare fusion elemental hero from the second series of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh my goodness. Picked up with the main man, Ruxin34. Actually, huge shout out to the Ruxinites from recording this just after we hit 4,000 subscribers, where we're gonna be opening up every single Yu-Gi-Oh GX set. I'm ecstatic about the grade, but ugh, the schmutz, guys, the schmutz. So the last card here, pulled for channel member, Rocky S and fellow Canadian, Chimera Tech Overdragon. Just one of the many epic ultimate rares we pulled in our GX hobby box breaks. Look at this thing, folks. 
Thankfully, no schmutz on the back of this one. My guess for this guy, folks, of course, that PSA 10. Let's see what we can do here. Chimera Tech Overdragon, again, pulled on the channel. I'll leave a link to that epic box break. Gem Mint 10, did we get it? This card is a pop one officially for Gem Mint 10. Unfortunately, some of the ultimate rares uh, were mislabeled. The early ultimate rares that were graded uh, were mislabeled as ultra rares. PSA didn't really uh, have their shit together, let's just say that. They still don't, clearly putting schmutz on the back of every card. Uh, but yeah, this card nonetheless is a very, very low population. Here we go, folks. Can we do it? Can we get a gem mint? Mint 9? No way! Come on! In comparison, like, come on. This card clearly has that little ding right there. And here, you can see nothing. Like, there's... There's literally nothing on this card that I could... The centering looks better. <laughs> looks better than the Shining Flare Wingman. Nonetheless... An absolutely unreal card pulled on the channel in a box break for Rocky S, channel member Rocky S. Unreal. We didn't get the 10s, but I'm definitely happy with two iconic Ultimate Rare Fusion GX cards to end it off. All in all, I'm pretty excited about the grades. Pretty happy with the grades. Unfortunately, we had that little issue, but that'll get corrected. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and of course, I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And until next year... Take her easy.